Okay, I will continue with the question. So I will factor uh, secant squared x out, and that will leave 10 to 10 squared x plus secant squared x. Okay. Um, I can leave it this way, or I can make this a sine over cosine. Oh, I'd rather leave it like that. Okay. So uh, again, what I did is the derivative of uh, y equals 10 squared x is 2 10 x times the derivative of 10 anything which is secant squared. Then I find that uh, second derivative, 2 outside, so it is uh, first function, which is 10x, times the derivative of the second, which is 2 sine x, that is secant x, and I told you the derivative of the secant from yesterday's homework was secant 10, plus the second times the derivative of the first. This is secant to the power of 4, and this is secant squared, and this is 10 squared, and the 2 goes here. Up to here, if you factor the secant out, it would be okay. Maybe the book uh, continued with uh, making everything sine and cosine, but for me, up to here, you are, you have done a great job, and you don't need to do any more. Okay? So, this is number 40. need to do number 10. We need to find the derivative of cotan. I did, okay, so we need to find if y equal cotan x. What is the derivative of cotan? Derivative of cotan, we don't know it, but we can make cotan as 1 over 10, or we can make cotan as cosine over sine. The same idea we used to uh, prove that the derivative of 10 x is secant squared, we are going to use here. So the derivative now will be y prime will be low squared, low d high, minus high d low. So that's negative sine squared x minus cosine squared x over sine squared x, I can factor the negative out, so that would be sine squared x plus cosine squared x over sine squared x. All of us know that when we see this, it's our uh, lucky day, because sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, so negative 1 over sine squared x, which is negative 1 over sine squared is cosecant squared x. So, the derivative of cotan is negative cosecant squared x. Okay? Derivative of 10 is secant squared. Derivative of cotan is negative cosecant squared. Okay, this is number 10. We are done. One more question. Number 11. Okay, we need to find f of x equal cotan over x, we are right, and we need to find f double prime of x equal to 1. Okay, uh, we are going to use the rule that we just have found, that the derivative of cotan is negative cosecant squared, uh, and uh, I will use that to find the derivative of this. So, f prime of x will be derivative of cotan anything is negative secant squared that thing times the derivative of whatever inside which is 4. So we can write this as negative 4 cosecant squared 4x. Yesterday's homework we learned that uh, the derivative of secant x is secant 10, secant x 10x, and the derivative of cosecant x Negative cosecant cotan. We we have done this, I'm 
sure in the yesterday's homework. Watch yesterday's video, you will find that. So I will use this rule to find the derivative, the second derivative. So f double prime of x will equal negative 4. Then the derivative of g of x to the power of n is n. everything to sine and cosine, that's fine, this is 1 over sine squared and this is cosine over sine, but up to here you did a great job, actually. So, I want to remind you of uh, some rules you can use as a shortcut if you don't want to switch, if you don't want to every time to switch tan, tan to cosine over sine and cosecant to 1 over sine and secant to 1 over sine. Try to remember those uh, derivative rules. So, uh, tan x derivative is secant squared x. Cotan x derivative is negative cosecant squared x. Uh, secant x derivative is secant x. Tan x cosecant cosecant x derivative that's negative cosecant x cotan x. No, the one that starts with c has a negative and has a cosecant. Okay, maybe that will make uh, your life much easier. Anyway, you can have this in front of you while you're doing your work, you don't, when you use them a lot, you're gonna master them, you don't have to uh, memorize them, okay, right away, alright, so I answered all of your questions, I'm, um, if you have any other questions, please ask, uh, I don't want you to do anything, relax, we enjoy the Easter, and happy Easter to all of you, and uh, just uh, enjoy those coming uh, four days and like uh, designate time sometimes for praying and of course keep in your prayers until I see you in the next video on Tuesday. Okay, have a wonderful Easter and enjoy the long week.